Once again, I literally just got here Saturday morning. Just got here. Train coming. Out for my daily walk. That's what I'm talking about. They're barely creeping along. You can see them right there in the distance. I really want to enjoy and listen to the sounds of the locomotives. That's why I'm not saying much as of right now. Let's see if these lights still messed up. the crossing and the conductor got on an orange vest less than one year of service they must have hired some massive conductors look at that my first time seeing something like that. That's why I love trains. Every day you see something new you've never seen before. You never know what you're gonna see. You never know what your day is gonna turn out like. And that's why I love it. Oh, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Check out how small and short this train was. Man, I'll take it. Wow. Okay, so right here what I was doing was looking at the switch that's located uh, directly in front of us. So that's a dual control switch. That switch is controlled by the uh, train dispatcher remotely. And um, I believe all the dispatchers are currently in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, the reason why this switch is called a dual control switch because you can put it in hand and operate it manually or you can put it in motor and it's controlled remotely. But when the uh, train dispatchers lose this uh, communication with them, they'll have you place the switch in hand and operate it 
remotely and a lot of times that'll cause it to uh, uh, to start working again but right here this is a, a manual a hand operated switch and it has a bow handle it's like a back saver and uh, let's thought it'd be pretty cool just to uh, look at the two strive the two